Welcome back to Squid Island. I am standing in front of what was once the beautiful townhouse because last episode, uh, this happened. Law 4. Each what sitting elected mayor what will keep his what role for a minimum. What? What? Yeah, I don't know how Jelly blew up. I really don't. What happened to my... What happened to my boat? The, uh, Anton, you're alive? What the... <laughs> Bro! How did you actually survive? I am so happy that you're alive, but that my entire boat is gone. I mean, some of it is left. We've got a crafting table. At least we've got my my beautiful chests here that are all in ten. We got signs. Oh gosh, I knew something was gonna go horribly wrong once we blew Jelly up. I just knew it. That guy goes crazy when something goes wrong. Okay, Anton, I'm gonna put you right here. Let's read the signs and then we'll decide what we gotta do from here. Oh god, they're in all caps. I'm scared. It's not good. When Jelly turns on caps lock, it's not a good sign, guys. Before I read the signs, subscribe to my channel. We're so close to 8 million. It's my new year's resolution, so uh, please, thank you. Your boat burned down. Oops, maybe it should have been on water. Well, I want to be on Squid Island. I can put it on water, Jelly. After all, this is what you deserve for plotting against me, the mayor of Squid Island. He's gone insane. He's gone absolutely insane. This is not only trespassing, but he ruined my entire build. Anton, I know exactly what to do right now. I made the evaluation. Actually, I'm going to let this be here uh, so I can warn Josh when he gets on that stuff has gone completely insane. Message to Slogo. This is not a drill. If you see this, I managed to escape. Jelly has gone completely off the rails. Again, this is not a drill. Hide! Because that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna hide from whatever's going on up here, and I'm gonna make sure that all my valuables and definitely Anton is safe. But where are we gonna hide? What the heck? Wait a second. So Jelly burned down my entire house, and for Josh, he put, put a little bit of lava on top of it that didn't even run down the sides of it. In what world is this fair treatment? I'm just asking. In what world is this... F Wait, he did do something more. Whoa! Okay, never mind. All right, I guess it's fair. <laughs> okay, Anton, we really need to think here. How do we stay safe? How do we stay safe, Anton? First of all, let me put you up here because I do actually have something I want to do before we go ahead and hide. Last episode, right... One of us, well, that was Josh, actually got a netherite pickaxe, and I want the same thing. I don't have one. I want one. So I think I want to go to the nether and get one of those templates again and make a really good pickaxe, and then I want to hide with all of my loot and valuable stuff. So mission right now is gather everything good that we can and hide it somewhere along with ourselves. Now, I kind of used up all of my diamonds last episode, so I'm hoping that maybe this one can become a really good fortune one. That didn't happen. How do you make a grindstone anyway? Oh, that's quite easy. Well, I bet you guys got a little bit angry at me for not making one of those last time, didn't you? Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I was made aware in the comments from the last video that I could just go ahead and make one of those. It's new to me. So what I'll do is I'll definitely make a grindstone this time so I don't just keep using up my diamonds. And you know what? Because I guess I want to be a bit nice too. I'll just and put it here even though why am i being nice jelly's a maniac but you know gotta kind of gotta kind of work on our relationship on this server right now i feel like so i'll make a grindstone okay i'll make one and i'll put it in here bloop so the good thing about me going to the nether right now is that i am gonna get more good stuff too that we can bring along for us in the hiding first of all i guess i want to get more ancient debris so we can get more netherite scrap and be like kind of good that way and i'm gonna get more levels too because i need levels if i want to make another pickaxe for myself right oh look at how easy that is wait you even get levels out of it Dang, I should have done that from the beginning, bro. <laughs> anyway, we've got a fresh new pickaxe. I just need to get to level 30 again and find more... Uh, 
I need those template thingies uh, from the remnant places so I can make myself a netherite tool and hide it forever from the evil forces within this server. All right, into the nether we go. Oh, I'm so tired of being in the nether as well, guys. You have no idea. Last video was too much in the nether for me, at least. All right, I need to find one of those remnant places so I can find the template thing. It's a little bit confusing, but I swear it makes sense. I seriously cannot believe my luck right now. That is exactly what I'm looking for, and I didn't even have to look for that long. Okay, so what we need to do is find the middle of it, kind of, because there should be a place, like, gathered in... I was reading up since last episode because I was kind of embarrassed that I didn't know how to do things. There's a place in here that 100% of the time has the loot that we're looking for. And I think it's gonna be somewhere in the middle of this place. And probably, it's probably that down there, isn't it? How do I get, okay, how do I, how do I get down? I don't, I really don't want to die. I just want to get one of those things. And then I kind of want to peace out from here. And I guess, uh, kind of, that's it. I really don't want to spend too much time in the nether. It's bad being here. It's gonna eventually get me killed. And I don't want that to happen. So let's see if I can sneak my way down there in the middle get what I'm looking for, and then get out of dodge again. It's the best way to do this, guys. It really is. And once we've got all this loot, we go into hiding, because I don't know what's gonna happen on the future of this server. We're hiding with all of our loot. Uh, let's just jump down, I guess. What's the worst that can happen? They're not gonna attack me, right? Oh, they are. They are attacking. All right. Okay. Be careful. Don't wanna die. Don't wanna... Don't wanna die. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Okay, I don't, I don't want to say that was a clutch, really. That was, like, the slowest clutch ever anybody's ever made. So don't compliment me on that. But at least I survived. I live to, I live to see another day, huh? Let's just celebrate that fact, shall we? So the thing I'm looking for is 100%, if Google isn't lying to me, 100% down there by the gold, right? All I got to do is drop down, find a chest, and then peace out of here. Because I don't need anything else, and I'm definitely not getting greedy down here. Where is it? Where's the chest? It's bound to be here somewhere, right, guys? Okay, there it is. It's right there. I just gotta not mess up now, guys. That is my mission. Seriously very important that I don't mess this up. I can die very quickly. And it's in there, right? It's gotta be. I read it on Google. Google never lie. Ah, it's there! It's definitely there! Okay, okay, okay. Just gotta pick it up. Yes! Yes! And diamonds, too! Oh, that is perf- So much block of gold, too! And ancient debris! Oh, gosh. I've overstayed in the nether, and I'm heading out of here. I got what I was- I got what I came for. Nice little piggies. Thank you for sharing with me. I'll be heading out now. <laughs> I'll be heading out. And let's get out of here. Okay, that was really risky. I can't believe I actually sacrificed and, and took the chance of doing that when I'm already really much under pressure right now. But I'm gonna make you guys even prouder now because I read the comments some more and apparently I can take the smithing template and duplicate it. So now I've got two. The thing is, it costs a lot of diamonds, but at least I'll always be able to have one when I know how to do it, right? And we've got a few more levels, so hopefully, I'm really hoping that I can actually get a netherite pickaxe worth keeping. I just want to get fortune really badly is the thing. Unbreaking three again. Efficiency. It's a good pickaxe. It's just not what I'm looking for, man. It really isn't. Fortune on that one. Let me just take that off. I, I just want to get more levels, right? So I guess it's good to use the grindstone when you don't have enough levels. Because then I can go in again and say... Fortune 2! You know what? I will take that. That is the best one I've gotten so far. And I think it's worthy of an upgrade with my netherite ingot. So now what I gotta do is head back to we got where we got the smithing table. And make our netherite pickaxe. It's what I wanted. So I can take it in here, right? A add smithing template. Okay, so that there, then this there, and that there. And now I've got a netherite pickaxe with everything that we could ever want in it. And this will basically set us up for life. Fortune 2 is fine with me. Okay, now I've got even more of a reason to hide myself from the incoming doom of Jelly going crazy, but... We need more diamonds, guys. I gotta take a lot of diamonds with me into hiding. So uh, let's go into my awesome community mine, if I must say so myself, and stop preparing for the absolute apocalypse. I also need to get more food, but 
That's for later. There ain't. Oh, jeez. The good thing about getting more diamonds, too, is that I can duplicate the um, this again. And I definitely want to do that. Anyway, diamonds are now the mission. And I've already found a little bit right here. I think it's only one. But I'm excited to see if my fortune is already going to work. Sometimes it doesn't work on the first try, right? But we might as well test it out, dude. Can I get a little more rich from this? Ooh, it did work on the first try. See? Two diamonds from one. Ooh. Two again. And that's one. So now I've already got six diamonds from, like, spending no time in the mine. We need to go around and look for more. Oh. Already found some. Diamonds are very easy in this game. And it's good to know that they can be used for other things now. Apart from just, you know, the usual tools and armor. I can actually get netherite out of it. I can get the template out of it. Dude, we're figuring out Minecraft. You know what I just thought about too? I guess if I'm building a... Um... Oh, no, 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 blow that up! He blew up my netherite scrap. That was totally dumb. Uh, yeah, didn't think about that. I'm still a little bit shook up about my boat being gone. I gotta, gotta be honest, not the nicest thing to log into. There's diamond over there. As I was saying, if I'm building a bunker, I think I want to make it out of, like, this stone right here. I think that could, go, that could look really, really cool. Definitely want to use as much stone as I can. It just feels more bunkery, right? And uh, now let's go get that diamond and stop yapping on about things that we're not doing yet. I can't believe I had that boat for exactly one video before it got completely destroyed. Thanks, Jelly. Anyway, more diamonds and more stone, and then we're good to go hide once I've also gotten some resources so that we can survive for a couple of weeks, months, years, however long we really want to spend down there. I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be gone until everything calms down, that's for sure. Okay, more diamonds here. Jeez, okay. You know what? <laughs> I already got 17 diamonds, bro. That is nuts. Whew. All right, we got diamonds. We've got a netherite pickaxe. The only thing we're missing to bring with us in a uh, doomsday bunker is really food. If you look at all these people preparing for doomsday, they always make sure to bring a lot of food. And luckily, this is Minecraft. So I don't have to bring, like, really bad dried up tomatoes or something. I can bring pretty good food with me in my bunker. Just a bit more wheat is what I want to bring with me. All of these here, because I'm going away for a long, long time. Okay, that should be good enough. Now let's take our dog, all of our items, and find somewhere to live. Where do I want this secret bunker to be? What's a safe place on Squid Island where I can hide a bunker? You know what's a place that nobody would ever touch? A place with animals. So... I think I'm gonna build my bunker underneath that. This yeah, seems like a good idea, right? Adoption center. Yeah, nobody would ever be messed up enough to actually do anything to this place. And I don't even think anybody's gonna check it out in here. So <laughs> I think I can pretty much just put it in the corner right here. And nobody's ever gonna look, right? Put a little secret crafting table down. Make a little trap door. Oh, this is gonna be so cozy and I'm gonna be all alone and finally feel safe on the server. You never feel safe on the server. Let me tell you guys, it's always a battle. Remove that and I guess, you know, I could go like that when I'm gone. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just leave it open. If anybody finds it, I'm gonna be a little bit upset, but at the same time, I wanna leave it open so that I don't forget where it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's place it as far down as these ladders can possibly take us. I mean, I did only make over 20, but I think it's got to be far enough down where nobody's going to come looking for me. Water. Why is there so much water on this server? Well, I guess we do live on an island, right? So it kind of makes sense. We can go further down just a tiny bit, like five more, something along those lines. One more down, and that's the final level. This is as far down as our bunker can really go without us getting too far down. Um, pretty crazy death anyway. I mean, nobody's really gonna find me here, I think. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna take it even further down, and just to make sure that nobody comes visit me, I'm gonna make it a really hard time getting down here. You gotta walk a lot of steps. And you know what the number one jelly deterrent is? Steps. Okay, that was a little bit mean, but I feel like he deserves it. <laughs> what? What? Where? Where did I just dig into? What is this place? Uh, well, it's definitely not my mine. Where? 
Where does this end up, dude? Is it at that end? There's water above. Whoa. I feel like I discovered somebody's old mine. But that's fine with me. See, there's water above me, right? <laughs> that is actually awesome, dude. Okay, you know what? I'll keep that there. I don't care about that. It's fine that somebody else has used this before because they're not using it anymore. Uh, where did I come up from? And, you know, I'll just keep going down then. They've already dug a lot of path for me, so I'll use their hard work to my advantage. Thank you to whoever dug this far down. At this point, I'll end up having my bunker at freaking bedrock, dude. Oh, it ends here. Okay, what I'll do is I'll hide it. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I'm going to extreme lengths to have this bunker, but I'll stop building it now. Seriously, nobody's ever gonna find me. I doubt anybody will ever check out the adoption center again. So if I dig this out a little bit, try to make it kind of like cozy and built out right, I think that would be good. I mean, I am gonna live in here for the foreseeable future, so I might as well, gosh dang it, more diamond. I'll take it, dude. What are the chances? More diamond? What? Okay, it seems like a joke, but that honestly is so crazy. I'll dig out as much as I can and make it as big as humanly possible. Luckily, though, I've got a great pickaxe and, oh yeah, wait, I kind of forgot to make all of my bread that I wanted to do, right? We also got to bring Anton eventually and I'll make a chest now because I'm going absolutely insane from having this crazy inventory at the moment. Here we go. It's safe, guys. Nobody knows that we live here. I know I just said it's safe, but I kind of don't, I can't, I can't, I can't just leave my good stuff here, you know? <sighs> make some doomsday preparation bread and let's keep on building out our bunker. Okay, so far so good. I've kind of tried to make like a little hut here that hopefully if anybody enters the mine from another side, they still won't be able to kind of like tell, right? I've been carving it out of the mountain, which kind of sucks because some of this will be cobbled deep slate and some of it won't, but that's just kind of how it is right now. We are in an emergency situation and I'm not trying to make my bunker pretty. I'm just trying to make it very hidden and not noticeable is what I'm trying to do here, okay? And done. All right, this is sort of what it looks like right now. <laughs> Ah, cozy, dude. Really cozy. I love it. Now I need to bring everything from the surface down here, which I definitely didn't really think about because I've got a really long way back up now. It's a good thing that we're hiding, though, because uh, I feel like it is about to go very, very down bad right now on the server. I really think it is. I mean, look at what he did to my ship. I literally had that thing for one episode. Good thing I warned Josh, though. Okay, so now we just got to bring everything we had up here uh, downstairs with us, which is going to take a long time. Also, I'm not going to be sorting it into the chest this time. It's going to take way too long. I'm just trying to hide everything that I own and put it down here for now, okay? Like I said in my warning to Josh, this is definitely an emergency and we're gonna treat it as such. Pack up everything, throw it somewhere else, and care about how pretty it looks later on when peace is once again on the island. I think that's our best bet. <laughs> we're not gonna care until peace is back. Gosh dang it, I had so many things. This is so much loot, I'm very happy that I'm hiding it, but back up we go once again. Okay, I kind of feel like that was it, right? There's no more chests around, no more loot on it round there we go we have officially abandoned our house you know what i'll take my bed with me too and i gotta remember my my dog as well it wouldn't be a house without anton would it all right buddy grab your things we're gonna go into hiding for the foreseeable future i don't know how long it'll be but i think it'll be very very long anton i don't feel safe and it's gonna take me a lot of convincing to come out of my hole for now uh, just follow me, Anton. I think you'll just teleport, maybe. I hope. Kind of. Please. I really hope I can bring you with me anyway. Or else it's gonna be a sad bunker, isn't it? Anton? Well, you haven't teleported yet. Maybe it's waiting until it can see that you're gonna be safe or something? Anton? Oh no, am I not gonna be able to bring my dog with me? What kind of a bunker is it without my dog, Anton? Anton? Yes! You're here! Oh, it wouldn't be a home without you, buddy. All right, come over here. Come here, buddy. No, 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 buddy. Hey, 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 buddy. Yeah, come here. Yeah, get on the bed and sit down. You have been through a lot. I am surprised you even survived that fire, but I'm happy that you did. Very happy that you did. 
All of our items are moved. We got a really good pickaxe. We've got the food. The only thing I need to do is say, uh, well, if somebody stumbles upon this, I guess I got to bring down signs. Jelly has gone mad. This is my emergency bunker. No one is welcome, only Craner and Anton. That was a mess, huh, little buddy? Guys, I don't know what's gonna happen to Squid Island after today, but I guess we'll see. I really guess we will see.